Hey, how's it going? I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and today we're going to be having a short video on how you can speed up your iOS 11 device. I'll be using an iPhone 5S as it's the oldest device to run iOS 11, but any Apple device will work. So let's jump straight into this. Right off the bat, two things you can do that will immediately help are as follows. Go to Settings, General, and then to Accessibility. And here you want to scroll down to Reduce Motion and tap it. Turn it on and you'll notice the animations are replaced with a simple fade which keeps things looking nice as well as speed things up. You might as well turn off autoplay message effects, I don't think anyone really uses these, and you, know, you never know, it could be helpful at some point. Now back out of that and go to increase contrast right above it. From here, go ahead and turn on reduce transparency. This is probably the ugliest effect I have for you today, as you can see when we go to the home screen, but all in all it does help as the phone has less work to do and it should hopefully speed things up. If you really dislike the look of it, you could obviously, you know, not use it. One of the best things about iPhones is multitasking and keeping keeping things open in the background but it can also cause your phone to slow down if you're doing other things. So go back to general, then background app refresh, then turn it off. If you do like this feature and want some things to stay on, you can always just turn off certain apps. For example, having Instagram open the background can, might keep things updated, but can take unnecessary processing power away from other apps. All right, next we're gonna turn off automatic updates. From settings, go down to iTunes and App Store and tap it. From here, under automatic downloads, turn off all options. This way you'll never be downloading stuff in the background which should help with potential slowdown. Next we can turn off location services for some apps that don't really need it. So go back to settings then to privacy then to location services. I don't have a lot of apps using it on this phone but as you can see here I can turn it off for say maps. You could also turn it off altogether if it's just not something you think you need. So go ahead and tap every app that you want to turn off location services for and do that. That will help believe it or not. If your phone is acting a bit funny and slow for no apparent reason, a reboot won't hurt it. Turn it off and on again and see if that helps. It's also important to note that having a phone that is almost full for storage can really slow it down. So a good idea is to go to settings, general, iPhone storage, and do some of the options Apple recommends. This is a really cool thing with iOS 11, and I would recommend utilizing it. So first, hit offload unused apps. So any app that you don't use a lot, Apple will kind of delete it, but keep all your data and documents for it. So if you want to get it back, you can. And then you also are going to want to go through and delete apps you don't need. Really big apps, like I downloaded Need for Speed here, they take up a large amount of space. So if you don't play it a lot, it might be a good idea just to get rid of it. If you have a lot of photos, it might be a good idea to back them up on your computer and then delete them from your phone. All right, these were just a few tips that will hopefully help you out. iOS 11 has a lot of cool new features, but it's safe to say that it's slower than iOS 10 was, especially on older devices like the 5S and the iPhone 6. I really hope this helped you out a lot, and if it did, please like the video to, you know, let me know. Are there any other ways to speed things up that I missed? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Go follow me on Instagram at 91.tech for cool tech stuff like this. And without further ado, I will see you all next time.